So this fun automation is going to help you boost your user engagement on your Facebook page and Facebook ad just by instantly replying to the comments which you are receiving on your Facebook page post. Yes, that's right. So in this video, we are going to learn how to auto reply to Facebook page and ad comments using ChatGPT. So in this automation, we are going to see how you can receive a new comment on your Facebook page post or your Facebook page ads which you are running and after generating the comment, automatically you can generate a reply for the same comment using OpenAI's ChatGPT or any other AI platform. And after generating the reply, you can immediately post that same reply given by AI platform or ChatGPT as a reply for the same comment as well. You can completely automate this process. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page. Now I want that whenever I'm going to receive any comment on any post of my Facebook page or on any ad which I'm running on my Facebook page, I want to automatically generate a reply for that comment using AI platforms like ChatGPT or Google Gemini and post the reply back to the same comment as well. So we want to completely automate the process of auto replying to the comments on our Facebook page and Facebook ad. And to do this, we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect over here. So here you can see we are on Public Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here between our Facebook page and our AI platform like OpenAI or ChatGPT. To do this, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. So let's say I would like to name my workflow as auto reply to Facebook comments. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Right now, I want to give the name as auto reply to Facebook comments. Then just select the folder of your public connect account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. Now, as we click on create here, you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Facebook page with Pavli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever we are receiving any comment on our Facebook page post or on our Facebook ad post, in that case, the same comment is received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. Then after that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to send the same comment to AI platforms like OpenAI, ChatGPT or Google Gemini and using ChatGPT or Google Gemini, we are going to generate a reply for those comments. And the reply which we are going to receive from Gemini or ChatGPT, we are going to send the same reply, post the same reply back to the comment as well immediately. So let's see how it is done. Here in trigger window in choose app, search for Facebook pages. Just select it. After selecting Facebook pages in trigger event from this drop down, select the trigger event as new comment. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Facebook account, our Facebook pages account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook pages button. Then because we have logged into a Facebook account in our browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account in this pop-up window. Just click on this continue button. And as we click on continue, we will see our Facebook account will get connected with Pavli Connect. But while making this connection, you have to ensure that you are the admin of that Facebook page as well. So it is most likely possible that multiple users are added on the Facebook page. But the Facebook account which you are connecting with Pavli Connect to receive the comments or reply to the comments, you have to ensure that using that Facebook account, you are the admin of the Facebook page. Now after making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the Facebook page. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which you have in your Facebook account, in your Facebook profile. Out of all of this, new comments from which particular Facebook page you want to receive inside Pavli Connect. We have to select that. So the Facebook page which I'm going to use in this video is named as Green Pro Landscaping. So I will just search for the same Facebook page and select it. That the new comments from this particular Facebook page or the ads which I'm running on this particular Facebook page should be received inside Public Connect and this automation workflow should trigger for new comments on this particular page. 
After selecting the Facebook page, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, it will change to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get a comment on this Facebook page. And as we receive the comment on the Facebook page, the details of the same comment will be received inside our Pavli Connect workflow as well. So let's do it. From some other Facebook account, I'm going to post a comment on my Facebook page. So I have logged into a Facebook account of this user named as Michael Karas, for example. And this is a Facebook page post which I have. Now I'm going to write a comment over here. Please share three tips on gardening and landscaping. This is a comment which I'm going to post on one of my Facebook page posts. Let's post this comment and as we post this comment, we will see automatically immediately within few seconds, the same comment will be received inside Pavli Connect as well. So we will just wait for a few seconds over here. And yes, here you can see within few seconds, we have received the response in our Pavli Connect workflow. And in this response, you will get the details of the same person, the same comment. Here in response, we have from ID and here in from ID, we have the unique ID of the Facebook user who has posted the comment. Then in from name, we have the name of the person who has posted the comment. Then on what type of post we have received the comment. So it was added photo. So on which we have received the comment. Then we have the updated date and time that at what date and time that comment was updated at last. Then we have the URL, the link of the same Facebook post on which we have received the comment. We'll scroll down further and here in front of message, you can see we have the exact same comment which we have posted, which we have received just now. Please share three tips on gardening and landscaping. Then after that, we'll scroll down further and here you can see the unique comment ID. So while replying to the comment, this unique comment ID will be used. We will be using this comment ID to mention or to specify the next step, the last step of this automation that on which particular comment we want to post the reply given by AI. And you have rest of the details related to the same comment as well. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully received new comment from our Facebook page or our Facebook ad post inside our Pavli Connect workflow. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, using chat GPT, we want to generate a reply for the same comment which we have received on our Facebook page. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, we will search for open AI. Just select it. After selecting open AI in action event from the drop down, select the action event as chat GPT. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our open AI account with Pavli connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our open AI account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So to get it, just log into your open AI account and from the left sidebar, just go to this API key section. After coming here, just click on this create new secret key button and give this key a name. Let's say I'll name it as Facebook. You can give any other name of your choice. Now, if you have created any specific project in your OpenAI account, you can just select it or go with the default project and under permission, select all and click on create secret key. Now, as we click on create secret key, this API key will be generated over here. Just copy the API key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting this API key, just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our OpenAI account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the AI model. So in this drop down, you can see a list of different models offered by ChatGPT. Now out of all of these models, using which particular model you want to generate the reply for the comments, you can select that. Let's say I will be using the model as GPT-4 over here. Then after that, it is asking us for the prompt. Now here in prompt, what is the prompt we want to give to chat GPT? We have to enter it. So I have already copied the prompt over here. So let me just paste this prompt over here. And here it is. Here is the comment I have received on my gardening and landscaping Facebook page named Green Pro Landscaping. Write a short reply to this Facebook comment. And if the user is asking for more details that you don't know about, ask them to send a DM on the Facebook page or write an email to help at the rate 
please make sure to only give the reply to the comment in the response and do not add any special character at the beginning or anything extra as I'll post the same response as a reply. Then after this, I'm going to mention the comment which we have received. And here what we have to do, we have received the comment of the user in our trigger step of Facebook pages. So from trigger step responses, we are going to send the response of this comment, this message which we have received to this open AI action step. And we are going to use a process called mapping. So the process of mapping is very simple. Just click on this field over here and in front of comment here after that in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from our Facebook page trigger step. Now out of all of these responses, select the response of message and it will be mapped. In this way, whatever comment we are going to receive on our Facebook page, the same comment will be received inside Public Connect and also the same comment will be given to chat GPT to generate a reply for that. Then after that user posted or username. So I'll just mention the name of the person who has posted this comment over here. And after that, what is going to happen? We will just once again map the same details. Just click here. And from the drop down, we are going to select the response of the name of the person and map it. Now, after entering the prompt and giving the comment and username, just click on save and send test request. Now here in this video, I'm just using this simple prompt. If you want, you can add some other details related to your business or your Facebook page or your Facebook ad campaign and specify the replies which are generated using ChatGPT over here. So you can just modify this prompt as per your requirement. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here we have received the response. And here in this response, you can see we have received the reply for the comment as well. So here is the reply. Hi, Michael Karas, happy to help. And in the comment from the user, you can see they were asking us three tips on gardening and landscaping. And here ChatGPT has given us a reply for the comment using the same three tips. Also, it has mentioned that for more personalized advice on specific queries, please feel free to send us a DM or shoot us an email at this email address. So we have the same over here. So what we have to do, the step two of setting up this automation is completed where using ChatGPT, we have generated a reply for the comment received on our Facebook page. Now let's move to the final step where we are going to post this reply given by ChatGPT back to the same comment as reply. So we will just scroll down, click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, we will search for Facebook comments. Just search for Facebook comments in the action application. After selecting this application, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as reply comment on page post. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have connected our Facebook account, our Facebook profile with Pavli Connect in the trigger step, but the application was Facebook pages. And to reply to these comments, we will be using Facebook comments action. So that's why what we have to do, we have to connect our Facebook account with Pavli Connect once again in this Facebook comments action step. So we'll just select this add new connection option and click on this connect with Facebook comments button. Then after that, the connection process is the same in the pop-up window. We will just select our Facebook account and that's it. We will see our Facebook account will get connected with Pavli Connect for this Facebook comments action as well. Now, after making this connection here, the first thing it asks us is the page that on which particular Facebook page we want to reply to the comment. So the Facebook page which we have selected in our trigger step, we are going to select the same Facebook page in this reply comment on Facebook page, this Facebook comment action step as well. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which we have in our Facebook account. Out of all of this, I'm going to select the same Facebook page from which we have captured the new comment. After selecting the Facebook page, it is going to ask us for the post ID that on which particular post we want to reply to the comments. So in this drop down, you can see a list of all the comments from that Facebook page post. But every time we might be getting comments on different posts. So what we are going to do, we will just turn the mapping button on in front of it and clear this default response. And after clearing the default response here from the drop down from Facebook pages responses, we'll select the response of the post ID and we will be mapping it over here. After mapping the post ID in the next field, it is asking us top level comment ID. And we are going to map the comment ID from the trigger step as well. So what we are going to do, just turn this mapping button on in front of it. Just click on this field. And here from this drop down here in Facebook pages responses, select the response of comment ID and it will be mapped. So what we are specifying, we are specifying that in this particular Facebook page from this particular post and for this particular comment whose comment ID we have mapped, we want to post this reply. And at last it is asking us for the comment that what is the actual comment we want to post over here. 
So we have received the reply for the comment over here using ChatGPT. So from ChatGPT responses, we are going to map the response of the reply of the comment over here and add it. And after mapping the comment, mapping the comment ID, post ID and selecting a Facebook page, we will just click on the save and send test request button. Now as you click on save and send test request, here you can see within few seconds, we are going to receive some response over here and the response is received. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the comment which we have captured in our trigger step, the comment which we have received on our Facebook page post using ChatGPT, we have generated a reply for that comment and the reply is posted on the same comment as well. So let's check it. We will go to a Facebook account and we will just check the comment or the reply of this particular comment over here. Before that, we will just refresh our Facebook page once. We'll scroll down. And yes, here you can see for the same post, we have two comments now and we'll scroll down. And yes, here you can see we have posted a comment which is please share three tips on gardening and landscaping. And we have the same reply given by ChatGPT for the comment and the reply is posted for the same comment as well. And this reply is posted as our Facebook page, the same Facebook page which we have selected over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, now whenever you are going to receive a new comment on your Facebook page post or on your Facebook ad post, automatically using ChatGPT, you can generate a reply for those comment and post that reply automatically within seconds as well. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. And to test this automation in real time, in an incognito tab, I have opened another Facebook account. So this is the Facebook account of the user named as Devin Parker. And from this user's account, I'm going to post a comment on one of my posts on my Facebook page. So we have opened the same Facebook page, Green Pro Landscaping. So I'm just going to post a comment as, so this is the comment which I'm posting. Great cinematic shot, thanks for the video. So I just post this comment in one of my Facebook page posts. Now as we post this comment over here from the account name or the username Devin Parker, we will see automatically using the same automation which we have created within seconds, the reply of the comment will be generated using ChatGPT and the reply for the same comment will be posted as well. So we'll just wait for a few seconds and yes, here you can see now it has become two comments over here. We'll just click here and automatically within seconds, you can see the reply for the same comment is generated and posted over here. The reply is, hi Devin Parker, we have the name of the person who has posted the comment. We are thrilled to know that you enjoyed our video and appreciated the quality of the shot. That's exactly the kind of effect we strive. Stay tuned for more. Feel free to drop us a DM or email us if you have any specific request or questions. So here you can see for the same comment, this comment was not very relevant to the Facebook page, but it was relevant to the post which was shared and ChatGPT has generated the response for the same comment as well. So if you want to specify the reply which you are generating using ChatGPT, you just have to enter the prompt. You just have to optimize the ChatGPT prompt as per your requirement. And using this automation, you can completely automate the process of replying to the comments for your Facebook page and Facebook ads. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.